again. Oh, never mind. Dimension saw. Different to the rip saw, different to the cross cut saw. By definition, dimension. Finish sizes. Whatever you want, that's what it's going to give you. We've got a ruler, we've got a piece of board. Let's measure the board up. I'm going to rip this board down to 220 millimetres. We've got a fence, we've got a table. I can move the fence to the size that I want. 220 millimetres. Position the board. Position the crown guard. Again, normally, extraction would be on. But I've got my eyes, I've got my ears. We'll cut this board down to size so it'll come from me to you over there. So get ready to catch it. size that way. Now we need to cut the right size this way. So if we go back to the machine, one thing you mustn't do guys and girls, you must not try and cut material balancing on that edge there. It wobbles. If it wobbles it will catch on the saw blade and it's called kickback and it will throw this piece, this piece of material back at you and it hurts. So, you never square material off the fence that side. You square it off the fence this side. So I'm going to bring into play another toy. This is it. It might not look much, but we've now got a fence that bolts to the machine top. I can undo the table, I can now move the table backwards and forwards. If I wanted to, I could angle my material. But I'm only going to do a piece of material at 90 degrees. Fingers. One hand there, one hand there. Spot the deliberate mistake. Are you saying anything? Can you hear anything? If you put your thumb there, bad idea. If you put your thumb there and do that, good idea, because now your thumb isn't a problem. So we're going to skim one end, we're going to turn it around, we're going to then cut to size. So same as before, eyes and ears up.